Once upon a time, in the twin islands of Trinidad and Tobago, the indigenous people lived in harmony with the land, sea, and sky. They fished in the crystal clear waters, farmed the fertile soil, and worshipped the gods of nature. Life was simple, but it was good. But one day, a great ship sailed into the bay, bringing with it strange and powerful beings. The indigenous people, who had never seen such a sight, were both amazed and frightened. These newcomers were the Spanish, and they had come to claim the islands for themselves. The Spanish brought with them new technologies, new religions, and new ways of life. They established settlements and mines, and forced the indigenous people to work for them. They brought new diseases that decimated the local populations, and they ravaged the natural resources, leaving the land scarred and depleted. The indigenous people fought back against the invaders, using the knowledge of the land and their own courage to resist. But they were no match for the powerful Spanish, and many were killed or enslaved. Years passed, and the Spanish were replaced by another group of newcomers, the British. They too sought to claim the islands for themselves and engage in battles for control. The islands were passed back and forth between the two nations, and the people of Trinidad and Tobago suffered through years of war and oppression. But the people of Trinidad and Tobago refused to be defeated. They rose up against their oppressors, and they fought for their freedom. They used music, dance, and storytelling to keep their spirits alive. And eventually, after centuries of struggle, they won. Trinidad and Tobago gained their independence from Britain in 1962, and became a sovereign nation. The islands then experienced a period of economic growth driven by the discovery of oil and natural gas, as well as the development of the tourism industry. The population also diversified with waves of immigrants coming from different parts of the world, bringing with them different cultures and traditions. This led to a rich melting pot of cultures and traditions that can be seen in Trinidad and Tobago today. However, Trinidad and Tobago also faced its fair share of political instability, social unrest and economic challenges throughout the years. Despite this, Trinidad and Tobago's culture and society has always been resilient and able to overcome these challenges and move forward. One of the most significant and defining moments in Trinidad and Tobago's history was the celebration of the first carnival in 1834. This event, which originated from the West African and French heritage, has become a symbol of Trinidad and Tobago's history, culture and identity. Today, Carnival is celebrated annually and is a major tourist attraction, drawing visitors from all over the world to experience the vibrant and colorful celebration. The music of Trinidad and Tobago has also played a major role in shaping the island's culture and identity. From Calypso, which originated as a form of protest music, to Soca and Chutney, Trinidad and Tobago's music has always been a reflection of the island's history and struggle. It is a way for the people to express themselves and tell their story. Another important aspect of Trinidad and Tobago's history is the role of the steel pan, an instrument that was born out of the struggle and resilience of the people during the colonial period. The steel pan is a symbol of Trinidad and Tobago's ability to overcome adversity and create something beautiful out of nothing. Today, the steel pan is celebrated globally and is a symbol of Trinidad and Tobago's unique culture and identity. In conclusion, Trinidad and Tobago's history is a story of resilience, perseverance, and the ability to overcome adversity. Thank you for watching VSH, please like, share and subscribe. Join us next time as we journey through another very short history.